Tracy couldn't sleep. Let's see if we can fix the white balance. Yeah.
Galen, thank you for the follow. Steph, thank you for the guitar. We have some regular coffee. And it's mixed with iced coffee as the iced coffee functions as a cream and sugar.
Chubby Chubby Fat Man. Thank you for uh, the heart me. Confirming your membership in the club.
Hello, Tiana. <laughs> That's, uh... Yeah, I like metal. I'll play metal sometimes. Steph, thank you for the finger heart. Being somewhere on the intersection of jazz and goth, uh, a lot of the type of people I tend to play music with either don't like metal at all, or all they want to do is metal, and they're not interested in jazz or synth pop. But, uh, I don't know, I like kind of keeping it 15% metal, you know. If I am to do a set or put out an album, 15% of it maybe is going to be down tuned and is really going to be uh, disgusting, dissonant intervals and maybe not screaming. I'm, I like like one or two screams. You know, I like the way Kurt Cobain did it. I mean, he would fucking, it would lead up to a scream. It would make sense when Kurt Cobain would scream. In the early 2000s, I was entering my 20s, and uh, there was a lot of music that was screaming the entire time, and I didn't think that worked. I still don't like that to this day. Um, anyway, I really uh, am grateful and thankful for you to listen to me just improvise. I did maybe four or five pieces improvised right there. Sometimes I'm playing within a scale. Sometimes I'm trying to betray that. I take some influence from uh, Indian ragas that have uh, the concept of like using one scale when you're on your way up and then another scale when you're on the way down. A very easy example of that would be something kind of like... Uh... But then on the way down, okay, now that's easy if you're just playing scales, but if you're playing melodies, it's much more complicated. So if you're going like, Because every, every two or three steps of the way, I'll almost do something that's against the rules, you know. <laughs> you get to make your own rules, of course, you know, once I... Uh... So I don't strictly try to play in the uh, raga style. Or... There's thousands of possible ragas. If you take one scale on the way up and one scale on the way down and do the math, there's a lot of combinations possible. Endless ragas. Endless. You know what we could do? I haven't had a Girl Scout cookie yet today. So let's set up a goal. If it happens, it happens. If not, that's cool too. I'm probably going to go outside again. Play the season two theme. I was talking a lot earlier about... Uh,